Good morning or good evening, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I just got back from an art exhibition. It was really good. The artist is Mexican. I don't think I've ever seen Mexican art in Lebanon, so maybe that's just me not being, you know, too cultured. I'm sorry. But it was a really nice exhibition and the artist was really sweet. I forgot her name. I will link it below for anyone who's interested because I feel it's bad to mention her and not mention who the artist is. Anyway, you know your girl went there for the <clears throat> for the guacamole cups and the shrimp ceviche. So no, I'm kidding. I actually do go for the artwork. It's my job. Anyway, I thought I would do a little review of Kali's Love Fest Burning Cherry. I okay. So the first thing, I'm a huge fan of Kali fragrances. Most of them I love. There are a couple that I'm like eh about. I think the citrus one, I'm like meh. Um, but the rest of them, I'm like chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Yeah. So I mainly bought this because a I, I uh, this is a Kali household. We love Kali. And uh, second, well. Um, I've smelled, well, I've had my eye on Lost Cherry for a while, Tom Ford Lost Cherry, and um, that, that, <laughs> I have many reasons why I do not want to buy Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Okay, first of all, the whole Lost Cherry thing, it's like, okay, <laughs> Lost Cherry, Pop Cherry, oh, we get it, you're so funny, oh, sex joke, okay, grow up, okay, first of all. Second, uh, exorbitantly priced, like, okay, look, if... I think for like 300 something you pay um you pay 300 and something you get like 50 ml which is a 1.7 fluid ounce for you americans um which is like eh, if it were 100 maybe but ugh, yeah okay so it doesn't really it's a perfume that doesn't last a long time i don't have a problem with that i'm someone who carries my perfume perfumes in my purse throughout the day and i just respray sometimes i change sometimes i layer whatever you know whatever i feel like doing that day so um i decided to go ahead and get this because i heard that it was not a dupe but like eh, very similar to lost cherry so i have it right here right here i have a dupe of lost cherry that i got from one of these you know those little oil shops where you just go and they put the oil and they mix it with alcohol and there you go, you have your perfume. Um, so that's one of those. Uh, I don't like this, I hate this. And then she, I like the idea of Lost Cherry, but I, I, I also, I don't like it that much. So I was like, if there's a better version, I'm gonna go get it. Um, so I sprayed them each. I, actually, I know this is not, nah, this, this reads a bit sour on my skin um probably because i'm sour grapes all the time no i'm joking i'm like i'm actually sweet for the most part um back to perfume so i sprayed love fest burning cherry what a name love like love fest burning cherry oh my god yeah and i sprayed the Tom Ford thingy. Uh, I've smelled the real one multiple times. This is pretty close. The other one just um, is a bit smoother, creamier, better rounded, I guess, <laughs> well rounded. Um, so this one, uh, when you first spray it, it smells nearly identical to Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Like you're gonna get sour cherry. You're gonna get that little, um... not all cherries have this. Actually, there's multiple types of cherries, but there's a kind of cherry where, it's not the black cherry, by the way. It's the kind of cherry we have it here in Lebanon. It's uh, um, kind of pale and kind of pink. Like on the one side, it looks kind of pink and on the other side, it's kind of pale, like beige color. It looks like it's unripe, but it's actually fully ripe. Don't worry. And just, sorry, it just looks like it's blushing from the other side. And that one has, it's relatively sweet, but it can have a little bit of a tanginess in there. So I, I guess sour cherry, but it's not sour per se. Um, you get that impression when you first spray this, but 
after a while, uh, this sounds weird, but I get a little hint of a licorice in there. I, I don't think there's licorice. No, there's no licorice in here. Um, I get it. I don't know where it's coming from. Could be the guayac wood, could be the Palo Santo. I actually don't know what Palo Santo smells like. I never, I've never, well, not to my, not to my knowledge. Um, it's, isn't it kind of like the new sage now? Like people used to burn sage in their houses and now they burn Palo Santo. I don't know. I'm always late to the party. So I really love this. I love this. It's it just, just, okay, well, this is trash, first of all. Second, Tom Ford lost Jerry. <laughs> go away, go away. J just don't, forget it exists. Forget Tom Ford lost Jerry exists. And if you're looking for a really nice cherry fragrance, go with this one. Now, if you want to give it a little bit of a rumble, and that's okay, this is overall a fruity floral fragrance okay there's not a lot of flowers in here actually i don't think there are any not that there's any noted here but it's sort of a for some for an untrained nose if you are wearing this and you're going around people who aren't used to fragrances they're gonna smell this and they're gonna be oh yeah fruity floral it, it's it's more fruity has some woodsiness in it the licorice tint in it, I love it. I, it gives it a bit of a chewiness, if that makes any sense. Like, it, it, it's like you took the cherry fruit, um, you turned it, you mushed it up until it was like, a, you know, like blob, blobby paste, whatever, and you dried it, right? And then you turned it into a fruit roll up. That's kind of what it smells like. It, it, it's, it's really nice. I enjoy it. It doesn't last too long on my skin. I've worn it a few times. Uh, thing is, I personally tend to get a Nosmic to a scent after like four-ish hours, unless it's one of those like crazy long-lasting fragrances that just seep through your pores into your layers of fat and muscles and into your bones and you just like cannot get rid of it. That's kind of... Some are like that. It's fine. Not really my cup of tea. I don't mind reapplying fragrances throughout the day. I think it's nice. It's refreshing, you know, especially if you're like... You know, you had a long day at work or school or whatever, and you're like, hmm, I would like a little pick-me-up. This does it. Well, this and other fragrances that tend to go within the four to six hour mark. And I'm being generous when I say six hours, okay? Now, as I was saying, if you want to give this a little bit of a rumble, there are multiple things you can do. You could take it into different directions by layering. I know a lot of people can be... Yeah. Look, I understand. I understand. I used to be a purist too, but it's okay. People change. People realize they're wrong. It's fine. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's the end of the day. I'm kind of tired, but I'm kind of excited to make food, dinner. Ugh. My life is not as sad as it seems, guys. I promise. Okay. Um, so, layering. You can do many things with this. Uh, Kaeli fragrances are meant to be layered. First of all, they're kind of like Jo Malone where they're really, you're meant to play with them. And I like the idea of that because you can wear these fragrances on their own, on their own, they're, they're rounded up, they're rounded up, rounded out. They're well-rounded, okay? They're good quality. They stand as fragrances on their own. They're not gonna crumble in a matter of hours but they're also formulated to highlight a certain note or a certain accord sometimes it's not even a note it's a it's a it's a mix of multiple notes right and they're made to go hand in hand with other with with other fragrances um so the first one and i think this is the most obvious one that comes to mind you can layer it with invite only amber now i, I know this is called amber but for me this is not an amber fragrance it's a it's a re, re rich re, it's a reach maybe what i'm saying is a reach no i'm kidding it's a rich spicy sweet fragrance for me it's a little bit gourmand it has hazelnut and chocolate and cinnamon and honey and cherry this has everything in it but the kitchen sink but it doesn't smell like that it doesn't smell like angel where you know you threw in everything together and you know it it, it does work but you're kind of like oh what the hell is happening 
this is not like that it it it's i think its bark is louder than its bite if that makes any sense you know you might read the notes and you'll be like why well, i would not wear this much gourmand it's it's not that gourmand trust me it's it's um it's spicy sweet okay so when you layer these together it's perfect this has a bit of that uh, uh rumble i like to call it it's like the brrr. it's 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 like yeah, it's given it like body a bit more structure. I mean, not that this is not structured, but it does give it a bit more structure to it. Um, it gives it like a like a sweeter foundation. Uh, also, this does have cherry in it, so you know that you know they would go perfectly well together. Alternatively, you could also layer it with a vanilla one, uh, cherry and vanilla. Mm, amazing, delicious. I haven't tried layering it with the other ones. Um, I might. Uh, I think the one that I would not layer it with maybe is the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper because that one is... <sighs> I love that fragrance. I love it so much and I, I don't, I don't want to... I personally do not want to layer it with anything else because I find it just... I guess I am still a purist at heart. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> anyway. So, like I said, I don't think this is an amber fragrance. If you do want to add something very ambery, very woody, very... Dare I say oudy? No, 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 don't worry, I'm not going to suggest oud. But this is as close as you get to oud without going into, you know, barnyard territory. I recommend you layer it with Anikoutal Ombre Fetiche. Yeah, it's Ombre Fetiche. I had to make sure because there's another one called Ombre Extreme or something. This one is extremely dry. Yeah, it's 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 dry. It's almost medicinal. You could get thirsty um, smelling this. But layered with this one, it's perfect. It makes it lean a bit more masculine. This is already quite masculine as it is, but I wear it because I love it. Um, also, Amber is kind of genderless. Well, most scents are, but you know. Um... Put these together you're gonna get that little oh i'm going to a soiree kind of situation this one feels more like a private soiree like you're going somewhere with a loved one could be a date could be your best friend could be your parents i don't know i don't you know this is something more intimate for me personally this one feels more like ooh, we're going to an exhibition opening and it's going to be crowded it was crowded, by the way, at the exhibition. <laughs> so, yeah, try it. It's really nice. Uh, third option is to layer it with... I'm sorry, this is discontinued. I feel kind of bad, but they go so well together. Okay, this is from Guerlain, and it's Elixir Charnel French Kiss. They have another one called Gourmand Coquin, which is a lot more popular, and it got discontinued, and I don't know why. It was such a good perfume. I wanted to buy it and I was too late. I didn't buy it and I regret it every day. I smack myself. Why didn't you get it when you had it? Anyway, this is, if you've smelled Guerlain Insolence, it's, that one is violety. It's powdery, sweet, kind of like candied violets. This one has this very, very similar vibe, but it's a tad fruitier brighter punchier sweeter um much less powdery definitely has violet definitely has iris but it also has a lot of raspberries in it and i think this is why they called it french kiss it's it's supposed to be inspired by the scent of gloss so it has a bit of that lipstick scent that we tend to associate you know with um violet iris red fruit combination uh because of that i think this goes really well this is People have said this is a bit of a smoky cherry. I don't find it that smoky. Maybe it's the palette. I, like I said, I find it a bit more licorice -y, which I think would go really, really well with this one. This is a romantic one. This is a romantic combination that's gonna... It's not necessarily like date or anything. It's more like you just came home, you're about to unwind, and you want to wear something delicious for yourself. Put these two together. And the last combination, it's a vanilla. I'm sorry, I'm being basic. Um, but it's a good vanilla, trust me. This is, I think it's called Amour, Kenzo Amour. Yes, it's called Kenzo Amour. 
This is an oddball of a fragrance. I absolutely love it. And I don't know why more people don't talk about it. I, actually, you know what? I'm glad people aren't talking about it because that, that's going to get super popular and everyone's going to wear it and you're going to smell it everywhere and it's going to be it's going to become the next what Pacat Rouge, Coco Chanel, whatever. Um, this is delicious. This is technically it's more of a summery scent, but you could wear it in the winter. Whatever, no one cares. It has notes of vanilla, frangipani, which is like a gardenia-ish flower. Um, it's the flower that has the petals that sort of overlap and then the the heart of the flower has yellow um, ribbons, like color. It, 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 the petal starts off yellow and it eventually turns white which I think it's is so beautiful. And it also has like rice notes, uh, something ricey, I'm not sure how they managed to do that, which accord, but if you want to wear this on a hot summer night, mix it with this, perfect. It has the vanilla, gives it some powderiness to the cherry. I think they go really well together. It's, this is not creamy by any stretch of the ima imagination, but this one makes it so. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, let me know what kind of combinations you've been doing. Also, did you try this? Do you love it as much as I do? Or uh, are you like, nah, not for me? Let a girl know. Uh, also, uh, what kind of combinations are you doing? Yeah, did I already ask that? I don't remember. Whatever combinations you're doing, let me know. Um, if you have any interesting blends that I didn't think of, please help a gal out i doubt we're gonna smell the same because i live in the in the end of the world